Good morning, YouTube. I am rocking some aviators today because I am at the airport. Why am I at the airport? I am here to take my 107 exam for my drone pilot's license. I am at DCT at the Oakland County Regional Airport in Waterford, Michigan. I've been studying and studying and studying, and today's the big day to take the test. So, I want everybody to wish me luck. I am going to go in there and take my test. I'm going to show you the method I use to study, and I'm going to link to uh, different websites that I use to study as well. Hopefully, it helps some of you all pass your 107 test. And then at the end of the video, I'll reveal if I passed or not. I'm certainly hoping that I did. It's kind of an expensive test, and uh, I really want to get my license. So, everybody wish me luck. I am going to head in there and go take my test. Okay, so my studying methods were, I watch a lot of YouTube videos. I think a lot of people do that. Um, the Tony Northrup video is very good. There's a couple other good ones. I've got links down below in the description where I've got links to several different videos that I found helpful. Uh, the FAA also has a study guide for free that you can read through. That's helpful as well. Uh, but my main method of studying was I downloaded the app called um, remote pilot prep wear and it'll give you options of taking of studying or taking tests and you go through and it gives you sample questions and it gives you three multiple choice answers sometimes it'll have a figure to click on to look at a sectional map and interpret it or um, a weather uh, a METARS to read through and interpret that and give an answer for it but what I would do is I'm going through is if I got an answer wrong I would leave it scored wrong and then I would pop up the explanation and I would take a screenshot of it. So then what I was doing is making myself some flashcards of the questions that I got wrong versus well, there's a lot of stuff that's just common sense or just seems like it would be the right answer and you don't need to keep drilling down and studying those over and over and over and over again. So you just be wasting your time studying through the app and taking the test and getting those uh, cream puff questions over and over again when you could really focus on the more difficult stuff. So by making screenshots of ones that I got wrong, I made myself flashcards that were stored, stored in my photo library on my phone and then anytime I could just scroll through and I read what the question was, what I originally guessed, what the correct answer is, and what the explanation was. And I found that to be really helpful. So I've got some examples here that um, you can scroll through and just see them for yourself like the kind of stuff that I was getting wrong and what I was studying I found that to be really helpful uh, one thing that I really do want to emphasize is that it feels like a lot of the study materials that I went through were they felt dated compared to the questions that were on the test they the test questions felt new like new policies new rules and regulations and I didn't feel overly prepared when I took the test despite the amount of studying that I did I would really suggest that you find some very current study materials because everything, it felt dated. And I talked to somebody else that also took the test the same day as I did. They felt the same way. That that was the best word that we could use to describe was, was dated. That it just, the stuff that we were studying felt old compared to what the questions were now. So I would really recommend knowing your sectional charts knowing your airspace questions and finding recent, recent, recent study materials that have been updated recently because the stuff that's out there did not correspond to what was on the test at all. Whew. All right, I passed. That test was hard. I mean, it was hard. A lot of the material on the study materials, it couldn't cover what was on that test. There was a lot of questions about uh, drug and alcohol usage, hangover. Um, there was one about if your license is expired, can you still operate a drone? Um, one of the choices was if the if there's another uh, pilot uh, pilot in command um, present that can take over the controls, or if another choice was if you're not more than 90 days expired. I don't know if I got the answer to that one correct. Uh, there was a lot, lot, lot of sectional chart reading. Luckily, the legend and the material at the beginning of the book 
can really explain a lot of that stuff if you didn't study up on it. But you better be able to uh, study, um, read and learn on the spot and not have the answers immediately because, or not know them immediately because um, I found myself going back to the legend and reading through a lot of it over and over and over again. There was not much on weather at all. Ah, I'm trying to think what else was in there. The real big focus was on uh, airspace. Just lots and lots and lots of questions about airspace and sex shuttle charts. I would study that over and over and over again if I were you. Uh, just so many of the practice test questions didn't match up even remotely to what was on the actual test. Like I would say a lot of the, the general knowledge questions were stuff you could probably answer just with common sense that studying on those didn't help too much. I would really focus a whole bunch on, on the sectional chart reading, just so much and, and get a hold of a legend because the actual, um, like the, the study videos on YouTube and that about the sectional test, they didn't really help very much because they didn't have the legend. So know your airspace, know what the, the circles mean, uh, the different colored circles and what's allowed in different types of airspace. No oh, floors and ceilings. There was lots and lots of questions about uh, the floor and the ceiling for a given airspace. 